how my life might change. And this actually could be a reality, this dream that I've had forever. I wasn't sure if I was gonna share with you guys my journey through my interview process. And then I was like, why wouldn't I? So along the way, I filmed different clips and sort of kept them in a little vault until I knew it was time to pull them out. Well, it's time to pull them out. So this is so exciting, at least for me. I hope it's exciting for you guys. I cannot wait to share this with you. Um, it is, there's probably a ton of you out there who can empathize with what I'm going through. You've interviewed for jobs, you've been nervous, you've tried on your outfits, you've done all the things, you've assimilated in your head. So I am just like you. I know I'm on this side of the screen, but I am just like you. So follow along my journey um, through my interview process. And I didn't really film a lot of things, but sort of at pivotal points. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you've recently gotten an interview or any interview tips, tricks, tactics, stories, funny stories that you might have. So this next clip took place on, well, I think I say it in there, April 4th. So pretty much my day goes like this. I wake up, take a shower, get my coffee, sit down, start to work. And all of a sudden the email popped up and it says, Interview availability, flight attendant in Dallas, Texas, United States of America at Southwest Airlines. Okay, <laughs> let's start from the beginning. So I've always thought it would be really fun to be a flight attendant. Um, not necessarily just fun, like it's hard work and it's working with the public and it's stuff that I used to do, you know, when I was younger, I worked with the public and customer service and everything at Walt Disney World. So that part's not necessarily easy, but it just seems like it would be fun. And I feel like it's the kind of thing that I would absolutely thrive at. So I've been toying with this idea of applying for a flight attendant. Well, it is not easy to become a flight attendant. Like with Southwest Airlines, for example, which is pretty much our exclusive airline. We really don't fly any other airlines unless we have to go to a place where Southwest doesn't fly, which would be either Tallahassee, which is where the kids go to school, or internationally. But anyway, I've been flying Southwest forever. And so I believe in their mission. I'm a big Southwest fan. So when it came down to like, I want to be a flight attendant, it's like, I don't want to be a flight attendant for anybody else. I'd want to be a flight attendant for Southwest Airlines. They only even open up the flight attendant position for applications for a period of four hours, maybe once a year. And it's hard to even know when that's gonna happen. So I have been waiting for about, if I had to guess, I'd say about three years for this to open. We got 18,000 resumes that day. And I just got a call back. And I don't know how I feel about it. I'm like, stuff's getting real. Oh my gosh, like, could I really see myself being a flight attendant? Do I wanna go through with the interview? I would be silly to not go through with the interview. So, I clicked the button and I scheduled an interview. So I have an interview today <laughs> at 3.30. What do you guys think? Should I be a flight attendant? I really don't wanna stop YouTube, so I feel like I can only do it if I can continue doing YouTube, which I'm kind of a workaholic anyway, so that's like two full-time jobs. Um, Anyway, I'm kind of excited about it. I'm just excited to like, I haven't been in like that workforce in a long time because I've been my own boss for a long time. Might be kind of fun. This next clip that you're gonna see is on the same day, just later that afternoon, when the interview was ready to take place. Now you'll notice I'm not in the same location. I wanted to escape my house and go over to my parents' house because I wanted to be in a place where I could have complete and total quiet. And at this point, I hadn't even let on to any of my kids that I was doing this. Mike was the only person that knew. So I wanted to sort of be in a little bit of private because I wasn't exactly sure how it was gonna turn out. Okay, you guys, this is so bizarre. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, all right, so I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit shaky. Actually, I'm kind of, ha I'm, I'm elated. So I was too nervous to remember to film before I was getting on my interview call with Southwest. So I realized while I was on my call, oh my gosh, I didn't even film. I didn't even film to let you guys know I was getting on the call. But then I had to quickly wipe that away because I'm in the middle of an interview. So I can't very much talk about that. So anyway, so I just finished the interview and the next step, like in the interview process, because I've been on the I've been on their website, I've been on their Facebook, and I sort of know what it's all about, right? So you have a first a phone call interview, and then if you go through that, then they send you to a face to face interview in Dallas, Texas, which is where the Southwest headquarters is. So anyway, so I was, 
she, she, her name was Wendy. She was so sweet. She was interviewing me and she asked me all these questions. And then she said, do you have any questions for me? And I said, yeah, well, are you a flight attendant or have you ever been a flight attendant? Because most of my questions were centered around being a flight attendant. And she said, no, I'm not. I've been here for a long, long time, but never been a flight attendant. And I said, oh, okay, well, and she said, she said, you'd have an opportunity to ask a flight attendant when you talk with a recruiter. And I said, oh, well, then maybe I'll ask you a different question. My question is then what's the next step? Should I have the um, pleasure of, of, you know, moving on to the next step? She said, well, I'll tell you right now, you are moving on to the next step. You're going to Dallas. So I'm going to Dallas, Texas. She's she's re recommending that I move on to the next step, which is a face-to-face -face interview in Dallas, Texas um, at the Southwest Airlines headquarters. So I'm going to go. It's about um, a month and well, it's going to be on May 18th and today is April 4th. So it's going to be um, in a, a little over a month. So I'll fly down to Dallas and interview with them there and I will let you know how that goes. I don't know if I'll vlog in between then. Maybe I will. I'm not sure, but I don't know, maybe next you'll see me on my Dallas, Texas. Yay! Mike is my biggest cheerleader, so I was so excited to go home and tell him the good news. <laughs> they invited me to Dallas for a face-to-face -face interview. <laughs> Yay! That's terrific! Of course! That is great. So after the reality started to set in that I was actually going to be moving forward and having a face-to-face -face interview, I really started to like, oh my gosh, figure out like how my life might change. And this actually could be a reality. This dream that I've had forever, like I started to question like, is this the right time? How is it gonna affect my family in a good way or in a negative way, the time away from home, but the fun travel and the, the you know, sort of like my family seeing me do something different, like being a role model for my kids and, and my husband be proud of me and those types of things. So, um, but then came all the questions too about like the practicality of it. Like, oh my gosh, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? So, and again, the, the flight attendant pilot world is so different from any other world. So I started to really think about things and I would bring items up to Mike and, and he decided on this day to start filming me and all of the questions I was having. All right, hey, what were you just saying? Mike thinks I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. <laughs> I speak as if I'm already a Southwest flight attendant. I said, you know, we're going to be going up to Baltimore. I said, this is going to be the last flight we need to pay for. <laughs> but this is the thing. I, um, the longer I, like the more I learn about it, the more I research it, the more I read on the chat boards, the more I like get on Southwest um, webinars and that kind of thing, the more I really think I want to do it. But if I, if I don't get it, I'm not going to be like, devastated, I don't think, because mm -hmm. I have other things I can pursue and things I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, right? But if I if I do, like it just, it's like a challenge. Mm -hmm. And I think I love the challenge. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing now? You're finding detail about what? <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of questions there's I There's a lot ask. of chickens that you've counted. <laughs> yeah, so I've you... counted a lot of chickens. My first chicken is <laughs> I, I wanna, okay, I need to get a black suitcase. I do Egg. that. Egg. Another chicken I'm gonna count is, I'm just wondering, when you fly and you stay overnight in hotels, do you get those hotel points as a flight attendant? Chicken. Okay. The other thing I was wondering is um, the- The like, uniform. The uniform, exactly, the uniform. Like, which one do I wanna wear? <laughs> you get this allowance that I'm already picking out the one I wanna wear. Chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm also deciding what base I wanna be at. <laughs> so there's a lot of different bases, there's 11 bases and neither of them are within two hours driving distance and that's the rule of where I live. So I would have to commute, but BWI makes the most sense. So I think that's going to be my base. <laughs> and um, <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm rooting for you. Hank. Thank you. Thank you. So this is a few nights before the interview and I'm getting down to brass tacks about like what I'm gonna wear, my jewelry, my shoes, my purse, my outfit, the whole nine yards. So um, this is what I went through and of course was texting back and forth with my friend who's already a flight attendant and showing them to Katie and Mike. And um, in the end, I didn't wear any of these outfits. <laughs> I'm trying to decide between this outfit. So I love, love, love this jacket. I love, love, love this shirt. I don't know if this is too flashy, if it's not professional enough. 
I have not done this in forever, so I don't know, but I just love it and I feel it's very comfortable. I feel comfortable in it. Um, I love this collar. Can you see with that collar? It kind of goes up. Can you see if I film that? Actually, let me go this way. <laughs> the collar has this like vampire collar thing. It's so cool. There's like a stay in it and I love it. So it's between this, this, which this is my mom's blazer. It has really cool sleeves that like bunch up. If you see that in there, they naturally bunch up. So it's also very comfortable. It's a little more traditional, um, but I like the pop of red underneath. I don't know if that, that uh, ruffle is too much under there or not, um, but I like it. So I'm gonna go with this as an option. Or should I go with a skirt? I'm always partial to a skirt just because I, because I feel like I'm not that tall and skirts usually make my legs look longer than, than pants. So there's a skirt. It's kind of um, striking, I think, a little bit. But I'm not sure that with this blazer it's the best. But actually, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. And then this one, so this jacket with the skirt. But I kind of feel like the jacket and the, is flowy and the skirt is flowy and they shouldn't both be flowy, which is actually a beautiful outfit to go out to dinner. I just don't think that it is an interview outfit. What do you guys think? Mm. So I think if I'm going to wear the skirt, I've got to wear a different kind of jacket. But this jacket goes so great with those straight pants. And the night before my interview, which my interview was at nine o'clock in the morning in Dallas, Texas. So I had to be on a plane by 5.15. Well, we took off at 5.15, so I had to be there a lot earlier. So I had to go to bed. Anyway, we I finished up the regular vlog um, for the night. All right, you guys, I think we're gonna wrap up. I'm going to bed early. You guys are gonna watch Criminal Minds. Are you a Criminal you, Minds you watcher? I bed 40 minutes. I know, all right, all right. I have an early flight in the morning. Be sure to check out the next video, which uh, is the day of my interview. So you can see what I wore, what I was thinking, how it all went, and um, figure out how we're gonna move forward.